You're here today uh, to present, to donate uh, this painting to the university, which is going to be here uh, in our boardroom. Uh, it's called Nature's Moving Light. Um, what do you like about this uh, painting? I mean, you do so many, you've, but you've donated this to us. What, you know, what, what is it that uh, you particularly like well, about it? The thing is, John, I go for, I go for the atmosphere and the power and uh, feel passion, passion, passion is more. And uh, it's hard to paint nothing. That's nothing. Very yeah. difficult to paint nothing. Painting houses and towers and streets or, or the path going in, there's nothing to lead you in there. So be, being an academic establishment, the Huddersfield uh, University of Huddersfield, is that I wanted to get something which is my soul. Um, a, you need to paint a picture. You need um, uh, you need to know about perspective. Uh, you need to know about uh, light, composition, and so on. And uh, you can learn to, to do a picture mechanically. But to do a painting, you need the mechanics. But you need that little bit more ingredients which is called soul and feeling and so this painting going up on the moors um, above home firth and above huddersfield there was this nothing a sea of nothing with it as though it's a swell i go for f seas and i go for frozen seas and then you, you've got to there's no verticals taking you in so there's no, I was going to say, no bunkum, it has to be done right. You can't just talk about it. You've got to give that feeling out to the viewer. It's got to come out to you and speak to you. And that's all I've done. So, so when you talk about uh, nothing, there's yeah. nothing there, where, where do you start? You obviously come across, you're obviously there up on the moors and you see a scene and you think, yeah, I'd like to paint that. Where do you start when you when you literally you've got nothing really you can like start with to build it around and what have you? Well, uh, it's got to come to you, and it's like a love affair. This is my mistress. Mm. I'm all, I'm being very very honoured and lucky to be able to read my mistress's love letters and then turn it into painting. So. I say to students, many people tonight will have sex, only a few will make love. And you can't defy it. Yeah. You can't examine it. You can't touch it. it is. Mm -hmm. And so this, once you give you the fear. However, when you said, what do you do first? How do you see it? I paint in the English school of painting, watercolors. That's no white paint, no black paint. So the white you see here is the paper. All this is the paper. This is the paper. Right. Not, uh, and the other thing is, I paint without any gimmicks. So there's no masking fluid. If you were beginning, or if you were frightened to death, you'd put some masking fluid on there, which is masking fluid is like a latex rubber. It dries bright yellow. And then you paint over it, and then you pull it off where you want your whites to be. And it's not soft, it's hard. And not only that, for, for beginners, if they were to put that yellow on, it puts them off for other colours around here, because it's luminous yellow. So I don't touch that. I, I, yeah, I'm in what's called the purest school. And it's very... Many, many artists will not paint watercolours, or can't paint watercolours, not bragging, this size. This size is... They paint that size, that's... Uh, that's a portrait but they paint it horizontally and Turner only did it that size. Yes, I think. And, and, and the, the sky I've noticed in quite a lot of your uh, paintings, um, it takes up, up three quarters to two thirds of the paint. Now that must be really hard to, to get the change in, in, in the sky because well, the sky will also be changing as you're every looking. Second. Every yes. second. So you've got to freeze that moment in time. In your mind? In your mind. That's I studied Turner, words about Turner, books on Turner, 
how he looked. And I felt that he had to freeze that moment. When he went to do Storm at Sea, uh, he was lashed, uh, he, he commissioned this captain of the ship, sailing ship, to take him out. And they, they strapped him to the front of the ship. And he went out in the storm and came back the day after from the, in the, from the storm. Didn't do any sketching, he was strapped. But he had it in his mind, photographic memory, which you've got to have. And clicked it then. And then when he got home to his studio, he uncorked the bottle. And it, the genie came out then. And what I do here, to paint nothing, what the Chinese, the Orientals in, 19, in 1750, Turner was alive then. And Turner, this isn't known to the public, Turner would look at that and thought, see the Chinese watercolours in paintings, and thought, wow, you know. And I discovered, it's not academically known, I discovered uh, four light corners. So I lived in the Orient, and I used to, at, at nine, eight years old, I used to draw and paint, and what the Chinese had were four light corners. Four light corners, see? Now, what the Chinese had that four light corners, so you saw subject first, and this was all out of focus. The Europeans have four dark corners to take you into painting. Even in abstracts, yes. to, to take you in. Now, the Chinese, their subject came out here because these were light corners. However, I looked at Turner's works and found Fighting Temeraire, Rain, Steam and Speed were four light corners. So we were just doing the East India Company then, and they were shipping stuff from China over here, the Orient, so it could click the turner. Nobody knows this. This is something I'm giving, because I've gone around all places, and I've quizzed them, and they're not. I haven't told them the answer. And uh, that's what it came about, because you've got to read it. And, and the, the sky itself, I've heard um, that you, uh, the sky has, oh, something upwards of 30, you, you have to paint it 30 times? Or well, something like that. yeah. Now, my watercolours, <laughs> I break the rules. Before you break the rules, you've got to learn the rules. You have to learn them to break them. It's more enjoyable than breaking them, like Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> Father, forgive me. Um, so, my washers are put on. The, the minimum wash you should put on a painting watercolour is six. Six washers, one colour on, put the next colour on, six times, over when it's been dry. So I do up to 30 washers. I'm lucky that I studied, I had an apprenticeship, which is one of the best ships going on the ocean. I studied an apprenticeship in lettering, in commercial art, and learned that I could put more colours on, uh, more washes on. And, uh, and so I could get to 30 washes to give you the depth. I wanted my paintings to fight oil paintings. So if we're in a mixed exhibition, I want mine to stand out as, as much as yours in oils. And uh, I will not churn my works out. So this one here, um, you can see there's an echo in the sky. It's a vox. You see a hole. And it, it takes you in here. It's a Z. You go in here. Hit, you hit that. Clumps of grass. Go across. Go up here. Go across there. And then the sky picks you up. And you go up there and round. And you can't go any further. You're not off the edge of the painting. You're still inside the painting. And, and do and you think about you that when you're, when you're doing it? About the, how people will view yeah. it? You're far better off having three hours looking and five minutes painting. Not three hours painting and five minutes looking. Now, it takes me ages. To do this, it's take like six weeks. Because you, you, I don't smoke. You, you go away, have a smoke, come back and put another wash on. And I don't do another painting at the same time. Turner and the rest of them, uh, Thomas Girton and all that, did two or three paintings and go. Keep going. I don't do that, and, and 
This sign is David Shepherd, the wildlife artist. This went down to London. This was down at my exhibition in London at the Mal Gallery, the Federation of British Artists. Uh, they'd look at it. To, um, David Shepherd looked at my works, the huge ones, like and said, nobody, he says, this is my quote to you, Ashley, which you can put, nobody in this world can paint watercolors that large without gimmicks. You don't have any gimmicks. They said, take my hat off to you. And Lowry used to say that, take my hat off to you. And I thought, oh. And I used to take my works to Lowry for him to judge, for me to send down to London to the RI, to the Royal Institute of Painters and Watercolor, Royal Watercolor Society and all that. But this is a, a great, uh, I can't thank the University of Huddersfield for what you've done. And not just for me, for the students, winning all your different accolades. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.